Welcome back to another episode of The Scram Line. I'm Nick McCready's and today we are gonna be making this chocolate peanut butter and raspberry roulade. This is actually not a frozen dessert. It looks frozen, but it's made up of deliciously moist chocolate almond cake, gluten-free by the way, there's no flour in it, and then this really deliciously egg frosting, which is really, really good. I'll show you how to make that. I've never made it before. And then we have some of my five minute raspberry in the center, which really cuts through all the sweetness and just makes this an all round delicious dessert. Now guys, today's recipe is so delicious that I think if you share this video with your family and friends or loved ones, they might make it for you. So make sure you hit the share button, copy the link, it's up there. Let's get stuck into making the cake first. Begin by adding five large eggs into a large mixing bowl and today I'm going to be using my electric can mixer to whip these up until they're nice and frothy. Then with our sugar we're going to be adding it in a little bit at a time just to introduce the sugar, give it a chance to dissolve before we add in the next bit. So a little bit at a time. Once you have all your sugar in there, continue mixing for about five minutes and your sugar egg mixture will become nice and fluffy and double in size. To a separate bowl, I'm gonna be running some cocoa through a sieve and then I'm gonna be adding some almond flour in there. We're gonna use a whisk to combine this and then sift it into your egg mixture. Use a large spatula to gently fold this through your egg mixture. The reason why you want to go nice and slow is because you don't want to deflate your egg mixture because we've just spent five minutes whipping it up. I have a 20 by 35 centimeter rectangle baking tray. We're going to spray the bottom with some oil and line it with baking paper. Pour your deliciously chocolate batter on top. Then you're gonna use a spatula to very gently spread this around. We're gonna bake this for 10 to 15 minutes. Yep, that's all it takes on 180 degrees Celsius. Once it's finished baking, let it cool down completely. Let's move on to the frosting. This is not a frosting I've ever made before. It actually starts off by making a syrup. So we're gonna be adding some caster sugar and water to a medium sized saucepan. Give it a very quick, gentle stir and then bring it to a boil. While it comes to a boil, you wanna use a pastry brush that's dipped in a little bit of water to brush down the sides of your saucepan. Those little sticky bits that are on the side are syrup and they can cause crystallization, which you definitely wanna avoid when you're making syrup like this. While the syrup is reaching the correct temperature, we're going to move on to the rest of the frosting. And this frosting is an egg yolk based frosting. So add some egg yolks to a large mixing bowl, get those nice and pale and fluffy. Then once you've reached 120 degrees Celsius with your syrup, you're going to very slowly in a thin and steady stream, pour that very hot syrup into that egg yolk mixture while your mixer is on high speed it's really important that you add it slowly otherwise you risk cooking those egg yolks and you're just going to have to start from scratch your egg mixture should look nice and pale and thick that's what we're looking for once you reach that consistency and it'll take about five minutes you want to add your unsalted butter and we're going to whip this up for another five minutes add some vanilla extract i forgot to add that in there it's meant to go in with the butter. We're gonna whip that in there until it's well combined. And then we are gonna be splitting our frosting into two mixing bowls. In one mixing bowl, I'm gonna be adding some dark melted chocolate. Once that's combined to the other mixing bowl, we're gonna be adding some peanut butter. Now you can use crunchy or smooth for this. I like crunchy peanut butter. Our frosting is done. Let's move on to our five minute raspberry jam layer. We're gonna be adding some gelatin and water to a small mixing bowl. Now here's a little handy trick guys. Using a fork to mix these two ingredients together is the best way to mix them together. The fork actually cuts through everything and you don't end up with lumpy gelatin that's unmixed. Once you've mixed it, allow it to set for five minutes. 
We're gonna spend that five minutes making the rest of the jam. So add two cups of frozen or fresh raspberries to a heat proof bowl, along with some freshly squeezed lemon juice and some sugar. You're gonna give it a stir to coat those raspberries in the sugar. Then you're gonna microwave this for 90 seconds. Once it comes out, give it a stir. And if you feel like those raspberries need a little bit longer in the microwave, give it another 90 seconds. Once your mixture is bubbling hot and you wanna be careful because this will definitely burn your skin, you wanna add that gelatin in there, give it a stir until the gelatin is completely melted. And guys, we're almost ready to start putting this together. But first we need to make some chocolate ganache. For that, you're gonna be adding some dark chocolate to a microwave safe bowl along with some heavy cream, glucose syrup, some butter and you're going to microwave this for 30 seconds at a time stirring each time until it's nice and smooth our cake has cooled down we are going to just gently run a knife around the edges of the baking tray just to help release it when we turn it over onto a cooling rack i put the bottom of a loaf tin which is what we're going to be using to put all of this cake together on top of my cake and I'm going to use that as a guide to cut the first layer, which is going to be the bottom, which is actually going to be the top of the cake. It's a bit confusing, but you'll see. Now, to help everything come out nicely once it's set, we're going to be using plastic wrap. So to make the plastic wrap even stronger, we are going to be double lining it. And the easiest way I've found to do this is just by doing it on your workbench first. Add that into your loaf tin along with the first layer of cake. Then you're gonna add half of the chocolate frosting, spread that around. Add the next layer of cake followed by the peanut butter frosting, all of that one. You're gonna spread that nice and evenly. Then you're gonna add a layer of that raspberry jam. Now, if your raspberry jam cooled down and set, you can always pop this back in the microwave and just get it back to a liquid consistency. Add the next layer of cake followed by the rest of that chocolate frosting. Get it nice and smooth and the final layer of cake is actually going to be scraps that's left over from the cake. And we're not going to see this layer because that top layer is actually going to be the bottom of our cake. Fold the excess plastic wrap back over the cake. We're going to pop this in the fridge for two hours. I actually left mine in there overnight. It's the next day and our cake is ready to be unwrapped. We're going to pop this onto a serving tray. I'm just using my chopping board and we're going to pour our chocolate ganache on top and use a spatula or a spoon to help drip it over the cake. This thing is ready to serve up right now. You can serve it chilled straight out of the fridge or you can let it thaw for an hour and it's much creamier and easier to put your fork through. Now I've made this and served it straight out of the fridge and I've made it and served it thawed out of the fridge so that the frosting is nice and soft. And I'm gonna say, I kinda like both. They're both really nice. The cold, stiff frosting is nice, I like it. But if you want something that's a little bit more like easier to put your fork through, then leave it out of the fridge for an hour before you serve it. This tastes so good chocolate, chocolate frosting, peanut butter, and that fresh raspberry sauce, which has the lemon juice in it and just like cuts through the sweetness. It just makes something really special for you to serve to your guests. This is minimal effort, guys. It really doesn't take a lot of effort and it looks really, really cute and impressive. This really cute layered dessert. I hope that you guys try this recipe. It's in the description box below if you want to try it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel because there are loads of really great videos on this channel and I will see you all on the next episode of The Scram Line. By the way, if you want to see more recipes, I have some over there. Click over there for more free recipes. Bye.